be going to the Alvord Mine. I think that's how you say it. Um, I saw this one on Google Maps. It looked pretty cool. I saw a couple photos. There's only really one photo inside the mine, and it looked promising. So hopefully we can get inside of the mine and see all the cool stuff that it has. It has one like abandoned structure on top. Um, I shouldn't even say abandoned. Just basically just a dilapidated, just broken down structure on top uh, made out of stone. So hopefully we can get to it, find the actual, I think it's called the portal, the part that you actually go through into the mine. Hopefully we can find that. Um, but yeah, let's go see for ourselves, right? All right, guys, so I parked and this is the, I'm gonna, th I think this is burnt down, um, but I think this was burnt down. But anyways, this is the stone structure. Pretty cool. Got a fireplace in here. Yeah. I don't actually know where the mine is in relation to this house. I actually don't know if it's even at this like area that I'm at right here, but I will find it. All right, so driving a little bit, the road is turning just into bigger and bigger rocks. So I can't exactly go back there. I mean, I could go back there, but I don't want to get stuck. I'm by myself like normal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out and I'm going to set the drone up and I'm going to see if I can physically or just actually see where they had this thing. Actually, that may be way up on the mountain. That looks like that looks like a lot of rocks that weren't naturally falling from the mountain, but actually were put there. So maybe higher up, but I have to put the drone up to actually see what's over there. All right, guys, so I'm actually just going to drive up here. I, I got out of my car to put the drone up, and there's a road literally two feet from where I was pointing. Like, oh, can't go that way. That's because the road's right there. Oh, man, sometimes you just do stupid stuff, right? I'm about to set up the drone. I'm like, oh, there's a road. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I put the drone up, and I found that there is a path right here that you have to walk up or the road that keeps going deeper into the valley. I don't know if I showed that, pathway, road. And what I'm gonna do right now, since I know where they're at, I'm just gonna start in a, or start my my, uh, my propane burner up and just um, eat some food right now because I'm pretty hungry. And then I'm gonna check it out. I only got probably four or five hours of daylight left. So we'll see how this goes. It should go pretty well. I think you can actually get in this one. It looks big enough to physically go in without having to crawl on your belly like other ones I've seen <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna do that real quick all right guys what are we feeling like eating today are we feeling like eating the mac and cheese beef stroganoff I don't know what you were thinking heck yeah all right guys so while the water boils right there I thought I'd talk about this thing I made um, I'm gonna be moving soon out of my house so I took the table that I had inside of my room, it had a lot of, uh, a lot of wood on it, and I repurposed it into um, this drawer system. I was cutting it by hand with a handsaw, and I just got this one piece off just a little bit, so I just gotta go back and flatten that out and bring it down. But it's held in with turnbuckles, so it is in there nice and sturdy. Um, this compartment right here, it's just full of miscellaneous stuff. Don't pay attention to the ammo. Um, but right here is where you put like food and other things like that. And this cooker is going to go on this underside right here. So it can pull out and you will have a place to cook food. Let's close those back up. And then this side. This is just miscellaneous stuff. This is just backpack. This is the remote for the winch. Some propane. That chest rig from Hill People gear. Their freaking gear is awesome. Um, some other things, pots and pans, simple stuff. Um, these are locking sliders, so it won't come out when I'm driving. I still have to finish it. I still have to flatten some stuff up and sand it, but that's what I am rocking in the back of the Forerunner now. All right, this is what I got to eat. Some beef stroganoff inside of a piece of bread. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so I just started walking from my vehicle. Um, the sun is about an hour to an hour and a half from going under that mountain ridge and then I won't have light. But because I'm going to a mine and I'm by myself, I have a chest rig with me and not chest, well, kind of chest rig, it's the hill people here chest rig. Um, but I have a knife on the outside for simple things, but on the inside, I won't exactly say what's in there, but you know, it's like pew, pew, pew. And to keep myself safe from anything else, maybe a coyote comes up on me, a rabbit animal, something like that. 
I also have this panel light that is attached to a gimbal. I basically hold it, the lights on the bottom showing the front of the mine. Top has the gimbal, keeping the camera balanced. It's how I, uh, me and my friend devised a way to get good footage inside of caves. And that's basically what we came up with. All right guys, so I'm at the base of what was that big crack opening. And I found the entrance. Oh, too lit, nope, shallow. So I guess now we go in. Oh yeah, another one, but that, that looks a little bit like death. That's straight down. <laughs> All right guys, I'm going in now. Actually, this one's pretty steep. This may be the one I have to uh, like come back out because I'm looking and it goes boom down. Let's flip this camera. Okay, I will not be going down this one because this is straight down and vertical. So, frick. All right, so I don't have the equipment to get down there. So I'm gonna look in these other ones and see if there's an actual kind of way I can get down. Because that one, it went down this way, straight down and then underneath vertical. So if I were to, get, or fall or anything like that, can't get myself out so i have to figure out a different way there's two other entrances i can check so let's see how this goes dang i don't want this to be another day where i can't get into a mine because like the equipment that i would need to get around the bend or safely down i just don't have and by myself even if i have the equipment it would probably be really dumb so i'm gonna look for one that i can like walk into without falling to my death all right guys so i found the opening that you actually walk in that you don't you know have to use a parachute to get to the bottom um it's right here it's about three feet now i need to get this right at the portal um of it and then it's about big enough for you to walk through so i'm gonna go down in there I had some trouble with my gimbal so i'm gonna have to actually just kind of hold my phone and shine the light because um it was just shaking all over the place it wasn't calibrated something was off so let's go into this thing it's gonna be fun oh, almost fell down <laughs> literally step through and almost fall down so i'm gonna try to turn this camera around going in let's turn on the lights all of them that one's already been on there we go let's go all right guys so that's where i came in from the front it splits off to the left here about 10 feet two different ways nothing that cool but once you get to this side right here look at this it splits off into three ways and then it has this top cavern right here. Wait till you see this. So that that just that just goes down. I can't get to that. I don't want to die. But look at this massive area right here. So that's where I would have came down from the top. Just fallen. Poof. Wouldn't have been good. But look at this. It's that over there. This goes to a dead end from what I can see. But this right here, this is massive. This is like 30, 40 feet high. This is insane. We got this area down here. Go straight that way, but I'm gonna head back around and see if the front area keeps going through and connects over there. All right, so I'm back where I started. That is the other place I would have came down. So now you see what I mean. It was just straight down. Don't have a parachute. So checking over here. Just looking at the rock. It's, it's amazing looking. So this goes to a dead end. So we're going to go back. down this way that's the main cavern area that we just came from now we're going here just hoping that I don't see bats that second floor to a bigger area up there something was up there
danger that way. Don't go that way. Not safe. Okay, so yeah, it came back around. Holy cow, it's massive in here. Yeah, so that's the way. Fall straight down. Come right over here. That's where I was looking back on this side. Jeez Louise. But looking at all these not safe signs, usually they look all graffiti when they're done by random people. These look like a little bit more legit. That just ends. That's just a filled in hole. Another tavern. Kind of checking around the corners because I don't want some big rat beast to fall on me. Or there to be a massive cave in. Look at that. All right, so I switched over to five times so I could see a little bit more. 0.5, I should say. So, an area I'm not going to go down. I'm saying cavern, but I don't think it's cavern. <laughs> All right, if there's anything I know about official barricades, is that that's a hole that leads to death. All right, so I switched back to the normal camera. I saw that it was getting kind of blurry. But that down there is a hole that leads to death. Like, I'm pretty sure this, this has an official don't go in thing. And I can kind of see the end to what I think is the end, just a straightaway. I guess I'm head back out now. It's a very cool mine. There is a cooler, well, I don't say cooler mine because they all have their little unique things to them. But the Bighorn mine is really really cool like levels and stories to it that you can get to that one's a fun one this place must have produced a lot of gold at least i'm assuming it's gold look at this okay so that right there is about 20 feet high coming down to where you walk i know that straight forward is danger and over here that's a dead end that is a dead end. Okay. Danger. Don't go down in the danger. Going this way. All right, guys. Time to go. Alright guys, so I'm gonna exit the mine right now. It was pretty cool. I didn't make it all the way to the end. I kind of looked down there and it looked like a dead end. But I'm losing daylight because I already filmed another video today and I don't want to be out here when it's too dark, especially if I'm in a mine like this. So I'm gonna go back out, get another couple shots and see how it is. I'm really glad I was able to get inside the mine. I was really discouraged when both entrances just leaded straight down because there's no way for me to get down that, you know, unless I have some kind of repelling equipment. So when I found the one you could walk in, I was like, yes, because it was worth it being in there. Like I've been in a lot where they're just flat tunnels going through and there's, you know, just moving left, moving right. But this one, like I could tell if I would have had some kind of equipment, I could have got to what seemed to be another level that kind of like mirrored it. Like if it were the same height going in, 
But um, yeah, it was just awesome in there. Pause. I found another entrance while I was walking back. I don't know how I missed this one, but <laughs> found it. Unfortunately, I don't have that much daylight. Sun's about to go over the top of the hill and it's gonna get very dark. So I'm only gonna look a little bit into this mine unless it is very promising. Um, other than that, maybe another day I will come back. So guys, I'm only gonna walk like a little bit into this one because the sun just went down and I can't really spend that much time out here because I am alone. But if I see anything cool, I will film it. Uh, okay, so this one splits off about 100 feet from where you come in. Um, I really wish I had more time to explore, but this one definitely doesn't look as complicated as the other one. Seems like it just keeps going down. I know you can't see on the camera, but they just keep going and keep going. So if I'm ever back out in the area, I will check out more of this, but unfortunately I gotta go cause it's getting late. So back out we go. All right, guys, so that really is the last um, mine entrance I'm gonna go into. Um, I'm about three hours from home, and I still got about a half hour ride out of the mountains, but I just love exploring um, old abandoned mines like that because it's just something really unique, you know? It's like the old history, seeing what type of rock is down there, all that stuff. It is really cool, and really fascinating you know so anyways guys that is the actual end of the video i will see you guys on the next one peace